What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make titles in Illustrator and then bring them into your video projects in Premiere. Let's do it. For me personally, I find it way easier to lay the titles out in Illustrator because I have a design background. I actually went to school for graphic design, so Illustrator is probably my most well-known so there's tons of ways you can create titles for your videos in Premiere uh, using Premiere, using Photoshop, using Illustrator. Today I'm going to show you how to do it with Illustrator and I'm going to show you how to use multiple artboards and then convert those into separate files for your Premiere project. The nice thing about doing this in Illustrator is that everything stays vector. You can use icons, graphics, titles. You're basically free to do whatever you want. The nice thing about the Adobe Creative Suite is that all the apps work really well together so you can kind of send pieces of your project back and forth. So today I'm going to be making two titles which I'm going to overlay on top of a video that I've already created. I'm just going to show you how to do two separate artboards in one file and then save those as separate artboards and bring those into separate files. Okay so the first thing you want to do is create your documents. So your file size should be the same size as the resolution of your video. So my resolution is going to be 3840 by 2160. So I'm just going to go Command N on the keyboard or Control N if you're on a PC. I'm going to be using Mac commands because I don't use a PC. Um, so I'm going to change the size to 3840 by 2160 and I'm going to do two artboards because I'm going to make two separate titles. So I'm going to go create. Alright, so here we have two separate artboards. I'm going to put a title on each one. We're bringing these into Premiere. We want to make sure that our color mode is set to RGB. Now that we have our file set up, we're going to put a title on each of these artboards. Like I said, you can do this a hundred different ways. This is just the way I prefer to do it. Okay, so my first title is going to say Meanwhile. So I'm going to say Meanwhile, Back at the Beach. So Meanwhile is going to be my first title, Back at the Beach is going to be my second. So I'm just going to use the text tool and make that bigger. Okay, I'm going to say Meanwhile, dot dot dot. Uh, I'm going to change the font to one I like to use to make this type bigger. I'm going to center this on the artboard by using the align function. I'm going to make another title here now on the other board. You can either copy and paste this or a little trick if you, if you like keyboard commands. If you hold down option, see these two double arrows that come up in black and white. So if you hold down um, option and drag, it will copy your title onto the other artboard. So just double click on it. We're going to go command A to select all and then I'm going to say back at the beach. In order for me to click outside the text box, I just hold command till my arrow turns black, and then I click on the artboard, and then I hit V to get back to my black arrow. So I'm gonna select this, center it up, okay. If we go back to Premiere, I'm gonna put my title on top of these videos. So it's gonna say meanwhile on top of this clip, and then back at the beach on top of this clip. I don't want my titles to be black, I want them to be white. So I'm gonna select both of them, and I'm gonna come over to here to my colors, I'm gonna select white, so now I can't see them. So what I use is a little trick here. Since all my titles are usually white, if you go Command Y, it shows you the outline version of the type. So you can still see what the type says without having to change the color every single time. It's still white, but we get to see just the outline version of it. So I'm going to save these, Command Shift S. So I got a new folder made for my titles. I'm going to name these Beach Titles AI. So I'm going to hit save. So then this box is going to come up here and this is where you're going to want to pay attention because this is where you're going to turn that file into two separate files. You want to click on this, save each artboard to a separate file. So that's going to take each artboard and turn it into two files, two illustrator files. So you're going to go okay. okay, let's go over to finder and then we have separate artboards here. I'm going to go back over to Premiere. If you see this, what I'm doing here, this is just command tab. It basically brings up all your apps that you have open and you can cycle through by holding down command and hitting tab. It's really convenient, just a little trick if you didn't know that already. We're going to go over to Premiere. I'm going to make a new bin by just clicking this folder and call it titles. I double click on the bin and basically this just creates a folder for all of your titles. You can right click, hit import, find your titles, and then select both of them. I'm just going to select the two separate ones, so number one and number two. So as I said, I want to have meanwhile over the boats and then back at the beach is going to go over the beach. I can change the view here to thumbnails and that just kind of gives you a little more of a visual cue on what titles are where. So first I'm going to just double click to open it up in our source file window here. You can bring this down just as is, but it comes down pretty big. What I usually do is I'll just play it for a second, set an in and out point by hitting I, 
for in and O for out. Shortens up the clip and then so when you bring it down, it's a lot shorter. So I'm gonna just zoom in here by using the plus key on my keyboard. Okay, so here we go, we have the title there. It's kind of a little bit difficult to see. I'm just going to make it the full length of this clip. So we have meanwhile here. So now we're gonna go back at the beach. So I'm double clicking that to open it up in the source window. I'm gonna hit I to set an in point, play it for a few seconds and then press O to set an out point. Cuts the clip down before you bring it in the timeline. I'm gonna drag it down. Here we go. Move that over and then I'm going to drag it. So this is the clip that I wanted on top of. So what you're seeing here is all the blue stuff is video clips and the pink stuff is adjustment layers. And that's where I have my grading done on. Um, um, maybe I'll do a video like later on about how we grade our videos if you guys are interested. If you are, let me know in the comments below. And also let me know if there's anything else you guys wanna see. If there's any tutorials, if you're curious about anything, let me know in the comments below and we'll try to make that happen. Back to the title. So I want this uh, beach, back of the beach title to be the same width as this video clip. So what I'm just gonna do is, is mouse over the end of the clip here and see that red arrow? Click and hold and drag and it should uh, snap to that end point there. So, you know, normally I tighten this up so the titles weren't up so long or I time them to music, but this is just a little bit rough just so you can get an idea of how this works. Say if I have this meanwhile type and, and I don't like the way it looks because it's really difficult to read on the background because the background video is too much white. So I'm gonna wanna add a box behind it. I would have spent more time, you know, designing this if that was a, a real issue. But I just wanna show you guys this just so you can get an idea of how Illustrator and Premiere kind of talk to each other. So if you right click on your mouse, and you scroll up here to edit original, this will open the file, that one file, back up in Illustrator. See, it's just the one artboard. I'm using Command minus to zoom out, Command plus to zoom in. So right now I'm working in outline view. I'm just going to drag a little box here. Uh, I'm gonna send that to back. So I'm gonna make sure that that box is behind the text. And to send it to back, I'm gonna go Command Shift bracket, open bracket. So I just went Command Y, I'm gonna click on the text, and then I'm gonna change that to black. Save that and see what that looks like. So command tab to get back to Premiere. File has already been updated. Actually I find the box a little bit big and because we have the Illustrator file already open we can just continue to go back and make changes, save it and it will update live. So I'm going to go back to Illustrator, command Y so I can see my outlines. I'm going to select the box and I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna save that. So I have my titles in here ready to go. Now, there's a lot of things you can actually do here. Um, if you wanna get a little fancier with your titles, you can actually move them right in Premiere. You can add a little bit of an animation by using keyframes. We'll talk about that later if you're interested. Let me know. If you go to your effects controls tab over here, um, this is where you can add and change up some stuff. So any mouse over, there's a little bit of an arrow that comes up. You can just drag one way or the other way to change the positions. And say if I want it to be a little bit smaller and move it down a little bit, I could do that by just playing with the motion and position. Um, this is where you're gonna add your keyframes again. Probably go through that in a different video. If you wanna change the opacity, you can come down here to the opacity sliders and adjust that. You can change the blending mode if you want to, to whatever you want. Um, you got overlay, soft light. Uh, just turn this up a little bit so you can see what that looks like. But I want it to be in the center. Uh, so just to reset your settings, you just hit the reset button here uh, to reset it. So here we go, done. Titles are in and they're all editable right from Premiere, back in Illustrator, super easy, no rendering, no layers. All right, so that's how you make titles in Illustrator and how you bring them into Premiere. If you don't know how to use Illustrator, you can just totally do your titles in Premiere. If you wanted to do them in Photoshop and save them as TIFFs, that's perfectly cool too. I just prefer using Illustrator. Uh, the files are all vector, which means they have an infinite resolution. So no matter how big or small you scale them up in Illustrator, they'll maintain resolution and always stay crispy and sharp, um, which is really great if you wanna, you know, if you decide you wanna make it bigger later. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment below, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. 